Welcome back. It's 836. Several battles going on as we check in with TMZ's Harvey Levin. Good morning to you, Harvey. Good to see you. Hey, Lauren. Okay, so let's talk about this whole Kesha thing. I know the music producer um, has now come forward saying that he is denying the um, charges that he sexually assaulted pop star Kesha. A lot of celebrities come forward saying that they support her, they've donated money. What, what's going on right now? Well, it's a little bit confusing because uh, Kesha, out of the blue, uh, you know, she is alleging that Dr. Luke raped her. She, he is the producer with Sony, uh, and she wants out of the contract. He's saying it's baloney. Mm -hmm. He never had sex with her even, and he's saying he's a, she's extorting him uh, because she's just, you know, throwing mud so that she can uh, embarrass him into getting out of her contract, which she's not able to do so far. But all of a sudden, Taylor Swift comes along, and she says, oh, you know, I'm going to give Kesha $250,000 um, out of the blue, and we are told it was unsolicited by Kesha, but frankly, it doesn't make any sense because we put a story up saying that Kesha was strapped for money. And some of the people in her camp started saying, no, that's not true. So then we started asking, well, if it's not true, uh, is she returning the check to Taylor Swift? And we didn't hear anything back. <laughs> so I, I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like she's cash strapped because she hasn't really worked in three years. The legal bills are mounting. Taylor Swift is supporting her. And this has really turned into an ugly, ugly fight. Yeah, no kidding. All right, and uh, this morning I was shocked by some video that you had posted on TMZ Sports uh, involving NFL, Dante Fowler, and uh, two women who, whoa, are just going at it. Yeah, and it's not even, to me, it's not that the two women are going at it. It's what Dante Fowler is doing and isn't doing here. Right. What happened was uh, they, were, they were at his baby mama's apartment complex near Jacksonville, and uh, the girlfriend and the baby mama got into it, but Dante is kind of refereeing the fight and almost egging them on. And at a point, I mean, it gets really super violent, and he is just kind of watching them. Yeah. At a point, he pulls one off the other, uh, but it does raise questions. It's almost like he's doing it for sport, like you're watching a dog fight. And, uh, you know, this, this really does raise a lot of eyebrows. Now, we've put a little bit of the video up on the site. It's going to be, you'll see the full fight, which I'm telling you is crazy uh, uh, on Fox Sports 1. Uh, TMZ Sports is on okay. Fox Sports 1 tonight at midnight. But I'm telling you, the video is crazy, Lauren. Yeah, it just stands there. It's hard to believe it. Third pick in the 2015 draft, plays for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, for those who don't know. 21 years old, uh, it, it, it doesn't matter how old you are, you, you know that you don't stand there and watch something like that happen. It's just tough to see. Yeah, and again, as you, as, as, as you see the video play out, Lauren, mm -hmm. um, you know, he had plenty of opportunities to say, hey, yeah. stop it. And it was almost like he wanted to see a fight. He watched a fight. He refereed a fight. And at a point, he said, okay, I've had enough. Now, he is a, you know, he, they have high hopes for him uh, on the Jaguars. Mm -hmm. he, he had injuries last season, but this season, they're expecting a lot from him. It will be interesting to see, you know, what, if anything, they do with this. But right. it, it's a troubling video. All right. Thank you so much, Harvey. We appreciate it. Okay, Lauren. And you can see TMZ weeknights at 11 p.m., weekdays at 3 p.m. here on Fox 4. You can also find a link to the show's website on our website, fox4news.com.